Yo, what up guys? Blaze Medic here out in the greenhouse once again. I know I've been shooting a lot of videos out here and uh, make it a little repetitive, but you know it's that time of the year, so things are happening out here, so just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, I made an order to this seed company here, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Um, if you guys want to check them out online, they are rareseeds.com. And basically, they're just the source for um, all heirloom, open pollinated, non genetically modified um, seeds. Uh, that seed company that I told you guys about before was just for tomatoes. This is all kinds of seeds, they got all sorts of shit. So, I ordered these beans here. You can go ahead and try to pronounce it, but I'm not. It's a white uh, pole bean. And then this is a pansy that I ordered. Kind of help the garden beneficially. It's a nice, nice color. These, these aren't the exact color. This one is though. This is the uh, a watermelon. It's got a white flesh on the inside. And then uh, this orange little watermelon here is uh, an orange flesh watermelon. Because I got my my red and my moon and stars. This is my crimson sweet. My moon and stars here. So I had decided to add two different two different ones, and then this is my purple tomatillo that I ordered from them, and then they threw in a free pack of carrot seeds. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start ordering from these guys a lot because uh, I really like the the company. Um, uh, another thing I should show you guys is I redesigned my trellis after Butcher made fun of me not calling it a trellis. <laughs> Um, <coughs> basically what I did was I took some support stakes, taped them together, strung them across the uh, wood here, and then ran the string down and uh, winded the tomato around it. As you can see, this one really well winded. And... Um, you can see that it supports the tomato really well. It's not tied off anywhere. It's just wound. See? I swear I can't even do a video without getting called. So, um, yeah, that uh, that was pretty much the end of the video in the greenhouse. Just telling you guys that you know the winding method does work, and that in the greenhouse I'm gonna try to do this method. Um, at all, at, blah, blah, whenever possible. So yeah, I just thought I'd come out here show you guys my Meyer lemon tree that I had from a whip. So um, I'm trying to find where my main branch is. So yeah, up until right about here is where I bought it. So from the ground to about there, it's about how big it was last year. So all this branching and stuff is all brand new. This is the newest new here. Whoop. But yeah, um, it's flowering, so that's good. It's starting to mature. Over here I got my uh, pink lemonade. Lemon. It has variegated foliage and variegated fruit, as you guys can see, with pink flesh. So it's um it's mostly kind of ornamental. It's missing a lot of leaves. You guys know that I had thrips last year, so uh, a lot of those damaged leaves fell off, leaving this tree and this side of this mire kind of barren. But still good, still healthy. May have snails or something, but I I, I spread out some snail stuff. So and then over here. Garden's a mess. It's the uh, baby Eureka lemon. Tons of little guys. Little, little guys. <coughs> so, yeah, guys, that's it. It's, uh, that's all I got for today. Pretty sure. Of those seeds, I'm going to go ahead and start those today. So, that'll be cracking off. Alright, guys, take it easy.